Welcome back traders to the Thinkorswim Analyze tab tutorial by Dave the Trader. This video will tell you everything you need to know about the probabilities that Thinkorswim calculates and displays for you. We're looking now at the risk graph of a bull put spread on Visa. There are three slices active for it right now. One floating at the stock price and the other two floating 10% above and below the current price. Notice these numbers up here. The risk graph is showing that there's a 5.31% chance that the price of Visa stock will be below $164.31 on the 18th of January, 2020. There is a 45.28% chance that the price will end up in this range on the 18th, and so on for these regions. 42.5% and 6.84% respectively. Note that there was nothing automatic about this date getting set to the day after the expiration date of the options in the trade. I set this date to this value. Notice what happens to these probabilities when I add more time by moving the date out. The probabilities update for the new ending date. Generally, though, you want to set this date to the day after the expiration date of the options in your trade. If there are multiple expiration dates for the options in your trade, then usually you'll be interested in the nearest expiration, but in any case you'll want to choose whatever date is appropriate for the information you want. Notice this probability range item here. It's at 68.27%, which just happens to be the probability that the price of the stock will be within one standard deviation of its current value on this date. This region right here that's shaded, well, this shading represents that one standard deviation. And how do I know? Because this, this percentage right here I can change it to plus or minus two standard deviations. And that probability is 95.45%. In any case, the region expands. So what this means is that the price of the stock is going to fall within this region 95.45% of the time on this date. Notice I can also increment, I can increment this probability 99.45%. Notice I can't increment it above 100%. But for example, if I want to find out the region that it would be in with a 50-50 chance, there's a 50% chance that the price will be in this region on this date. Now this control right here, the probability mode, it's currently set to ITM. I believe that means in the money. It's kind of a strange way to describe what this is actually referring to. But if we set it to OTM, out of the money, then these percentages change to reflect the odds that the price will be outside this range, or outside this range, or outside this range. A very interesting one is touching. Now, with the probability mode set to touching, the probability numbers on the screen realign to snug up right next to the slice that they're talking about. Instead of a range, they're talking about the actual price at that slice. What they're indicating is the probability that before this date, the price of the stock will touch the slice or become equal to or go through the value of the slice. So if I move this slice and I can click on it and drag it down to about the break even point, and this says that there's a better than 75% chance that the price will pass through this level at some point before the 18th of January. Now what I like to do is set this to ITM, which is the default. 
set this to one day after the expiration date and then come down here there's this menu that I can get by right clicking on the price slices which allows me to add a slice, delete a slice reset them to the default reorder them by price I can set how many slices there are but I like to come down here to set slices break even and then the expiration date that puts the slice right on the break even point at expiration and this tells me there's a 62.4 percent chance that this trade will be in the money on January 18th so it's better than even odds which is a good thing next we're going to talk about different ways to tweak this model to get different types of information out of it.